I'm going to show you how to make chainmail and blender. Uh, you're going to want to start out with a torus. Uh, turn the segments down to 11 and 11 and make it a little thinner so that it'll be easier to make sure it doesn't touch. Like one point. That's good one or point 13 meters. And then you're going to want to rotate it on the y axis from viewing and then go into edit mode and duplicate it to make sure that it's linked and make and you want it to look like this so in the long and when we're getting near the end it will link together or look linked together you don't want them to touch that's pretty good and then you're gonna want to click uh, command a and apply all transforms and then what you're gonna do is if it's gonna be like around an arm you're gonna make a cylinder and make it taller for however big you want the arm to be go into edit mode and add enough cuts to where each to where it looks like it's kind of squares so that looks pretty good to me and what I want to do is now I want to scale the torus down to where it looks about as big as one of the squares and then uh, and then you want to get into the normal mode select the torus or select this the cylinder and delete the faces on the end and then select the torus select the cylinder second so that it's uh, light orange instead of dark orange and click command P and set parent to object and then you want to go to the, the cylinder and go into the transform instancing and click vertices uh, and then align to vertex and then I'm rotating this on the z-axis and since I rotated it they're actually linked now they look linked chainmail and you click on the you clicked on the cylinder to turn the viewport off in the instancing and then you got a chainmail yay and that's